one four one point one two to get ammo and rations, huh? Sounds good to me. I need some. I need a shit ton more rations, actually. You still haven't found Merrill? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there, too? Okay, well, he's not bringing me anything yet. Yeah, Night vision? Wait, for reals? I gotta go to the basement room. Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. <clears throat> oh, God damn. You're Meryl. There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so... feminine. 
This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. <laughs> Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back, when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a guy who can only find meaning on the battlefield. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield, the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You can't stop loving war. Is it the same for all soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? <sighs> My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Oh, God, I am very happy. Anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget a lady. Because I accidentally <laughs> shot you. <laughs> yeah. You I won't lie to you. But. but oh, God, my. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Now, where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I've always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. And so, you became a soldier. 
I thought I was until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know... Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face, either. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Uh, Isn't that, that gun sense. a little big for a girl? Now you treat me like a woman? Come on, use my 45. Switchy, switch, switcheroo. Listen, Do I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. It looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Cycle Mantis. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Ration. Oh, it's so quiet. But I'll take that in. Oh, those open now? Else, yeah. How much do I got? I got four. God damn. I'm set. I think. Bullets. Hells yeah, give me all them bullets. I need all of them. PSG one. What? A cardboard box. Wait, PSG one. That's a sniper rifle, no? Pretty sure that's a sniper rifle. Ration full, are you fucking serious?
My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? It's Psycho Mantis. Don't come here, Snake. What the fuck is going? <laughs> She's crab walking. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Foxhound, I am a sergeant in the U.S. Army, ma'am. Or the Marines. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh no, we're doing a boss fight for sure. Are you fighting her? What is your rust? Good bitch. Snake, I want you. Who's that? It's Frankenstein. I saw his brain. Take her deagle. Take the deagle. Take the magnum. Get the magnum. Yes, yes, I do. But I don't like guys possessing them. Snake, Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Shoot Psycho. Oh my <laughs> fuck! What the fuck? Oh, I knocked her out. Okay. That was fucking... <laughs> she shot me! She actually shot me! Why would she do that? Useless woman! Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You! You doubt my power. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I am... Psychomantis. That's right. Psychomantis. No <laughs> gotcha, Wells. 
You need to eat it a little more, man. I can see your cage. I told you, I can read your every thought. You're a careless man, aren't you? And you're a poor warrior as well. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. No saved games. Your memory is completely clean. You have saved often. You are a prudent person. I can read you like an open book. Oh. I was kind of hoping he'd like fucking you do some Turaki strength or some shit. I will Whatever. show you my psychokinetic power. Put your controller on the floor. Man, you're just gonna fucking Put shake it. Put it down as flat as you can. No, no, That's Snake, good. no. No. Now, I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. <laughs> Feeling anything actually, it's not even rumbling. <laughs> what do you think now? Can you feel my power? No, actually, I cannot. The demonstration is over.
Stop! Meryl! Brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's For reals, like man. Her? I don't want to see any. Oh, die fuck right this boss fight. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. Seriously, fuck this boss fight. Shoot him in the face! Shoot him in the face! Mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that is why there is war. But you are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father 
was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil, Snake. Seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. What? I read her mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And getting bigger. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Sure, no like one wants this. to see his nasty ass face. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? 
I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. I need to get some ammo. Ammo, please. Rations. Anything. Please. And it's all gone. Right. Got a couple bullets on my famous. Hells yeah. Could there be wolves in here? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Sounds good to mine. Where'd she go? Well, guess it's time to save. Snake, your soliton radar. I know. I can't use it in a narrow space like this, right? Right. I'm sorry. No reason to apologize. Even the greatest masterpiece has its flaws. Mei Ling, how did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the U.S. Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessments. Those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. By the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. Oh, shoot. Sure. 